Top 10 Unlucky F1 Drivers.10, Felipe Massa. Massa is on this list as his very close loss to Lewis Hamilton in 2008 by one point was very harsh as losing the championship on the penultimate corner. Other than that his major accident in 2009 hampered the rest of his career. He raced in Sauber before Ferrari. 9. Chris Ammon. Ammon was a New Zealand racing driver he raved in the 60s and 70s with being regarded as having incredibly bad luck. While having all the qualities to be a champion with winning the Le Mans 24 hours partnering with Bruce McLaren. 8. Nick Heidfeld. Heidfeld was quite unlucky with not being chosen to replace the outgoing Mika Hakkinen being beaten by future champion Kimi Raikkonen. He also holds the record for the most podiums without winning a race with being on the radar to join Mercedes in 2013 before deciding to chose Hamilton. 7. Dan Gurney. Gurney had many race victories in Formula 1. NASCAR, Le Mans, and other racing series but he was never able to come out on top of all his rivals and if just had the right chance to get the title with the slightly different competition I think he will be a world champion. He was also the only American to win a Le Mans race. 6. Martin Brundle. Brundle was very unlucky to never win a race with many opportunities to do so for example, the 1992 Belgian Grand Prix where a different strategy to his teammate Schumacher lost him the victory. He also won the Oman 24 hours in the past. 5. Robert Kubica. Kubica showed promise with winning the 2008 Canadian Grand Prix had signed for Ferrari for 2011 before having a rally accident causing him to leave the sport for 8 years till 2019 when joining the Williams F1 team. 4. Gene Alessi. Alessi showed great performances with his first season with Tyrell and had signed for Williams but concerns about the announcement made him switch to Ferrari right when Ferrari went into one of their worst cars before going to the championship team Benetton but never winning a race with the team definitely was unlucky. 3. Nico Hülkenberg. Hülkenberg being very unlucky with never getting a podium in Formula 1 was well documented as well as being in that fight for the Mercedes seat in 2013 and being a Le Mans 24 hours race winner in the past. 2. Sir Sterling Moss. Moss was regarded as the best driver never to win a championship as he is known for his incredibly fair play when he fought so that he lost the championship after a disagreement with the fi on Denny Hume. 1. Rubens Barrichello. Barrichello was very unlucky as his time before Ferrari was good with Jordan and Stewart but when in Ferrari he was known for being number two to Schumacher at all times and after that driving, with Honda and Braun he could have won the championship with Braun if the other teams didn't catch up with the double diffuser. Anyways please like and subscribe and I will see you in a new video.